I wanted to take a few minutes and show uh, people how to integrate Power BI reports into uh, Business Central. So there's a couple of places uh, that there are integrations, uh, connections to Power BI. Uh, one of them is on the Role Center uh, right here. So on your Role Center, I can select which Power BI reports, but uh, I also want to show you how to connect them on uh, list pages. So if you're familiar with the uh, Power BI integration or if you're, if you've seen it before, um, in the current version, Microsoft has uh, by default hidden these pages. So if I come up here under the actions menu and display, I can say show hide uh, Power BI reports and I will get the uh, Power BI report fact box essentially um, that shows up in uh, my list view. This is a sample uh, new report that I actually created. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through how to actually connect this, but you'll see that the uh, the Power BI report is connected and it's filtered just like a fact box would be. Um, so it's only going to show me in this case um, items that this customer has purchased. So you can see as I click from uh, row to row on my list, my uh, Power BI report is updating. Just to make note, there's a couple other places uh, that these will show up. Um, one of them is the, um, like on your sales order list, your purchase order list, vendors, inventory items, uh, all these places have the link uh, and the ability to create a Power BI report and publish it um, within the within the Business Central system. So let's talk a little bit about how do I uh, select the report and then I'll show you how to create a report and uh, publish it so that it's available within Business Central. So if I click on this Power BI reports link, first I had to show it, um, then I've got this option here to select the report. Um, there are some built-in filters that are happening here. So depending on where uh, where in the Business Central application you're opening up this link, you're going to create some filters. Frankly, I find this uh, irritating, so you can just click on the little filter button, say clear filter, and then you're going to have visibility to uh, all the reports that you have access to in Business Central. So I uh, enabled this demo Power BI report here by just clicking on the line, clicking the enabled button, um, then it checks the checkbox, and then that is going to be the default report that's going to show up. Um, within Business Central. I do have the ability if I've got multiple reports to go next and previous and that sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot, of, uh, whole lot about that uh, for this uh, for these purposes, but you get the point. I can add multiple uh, Power BI reports um, here. So let me uh, go into uh, and actually create a new Power BI report. So this is not necessarily a demonstration on how Power BI works. Um, I just want to show you how I can leverage uh, Power BI uh, reports into Business Central. So I'm going to create a new report. I'm going to say get data. Uh, there's a lot of options uh, available to users, um, you know, data sources that I can pull in. I'm going to specifically go to the O data source. Now, Business Central, let me back up one second. Um, Business Central does show up. If I look at online services, I can connect directly to Dynamics 365 Business Central here or the on-premise version. Um, I prefer the OData connection because I've got some more control over that. So I'm going to say I'm going to use an OData feed. I'm going to connect. Um, and then the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me for the URL. So where do I find that URL? Within Business Central, I'm going to go to my web services and I'm going to click on that. And within uh, Business Central, I have the ability to actually create uh, web services. So these could be code units, pages, uh, query objects. I'm just going to look at this one right here, which is my customer ledger entries. And I'm going to show you how I can uh, quickly create a report and then filter based on that. So I'm going to look at this line here. By the way, if you want to create a new one, I can create a new uh, web service here. Uh, as well. So if I've got the uh, the code unit of the page, if it's not published currently, I can do that. But I've got this customer card here and I'm going to, or customer ledger entries, I'm sorry. I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to look at this O data feed and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy um, the link address. So what that's doing is it's showing me uh, what the URL link is. Uh, the URL is to connect to um, the particular object that I'm looking at. Sorry, I want to go to customer ledger entries and then I'd right click over here and copy that address. So that's what I'm going to paste in my um, in my OData feed uh, URL link. I'm going to click next. Something about that I didn't like. Oh, there we go. Got some junk at the front of it. Okay, so I'm going to click my uh, OK. That's going to create my link. And then I'm going to drag this over to my other screen here. 
what you'll see is I've got then, um, based on that URL link, it's giving me a preview of the data, which is customer ledger entry. So if you're familiar with Business Central, that should look uh, you know, fairly familiar to you. I've got entries, document numbers, customer numbers, et cetera. I click load, and that is going to load that um, into uh, the Power BI report. So give it a second here to load up, and then I'm going to show you. All right, so I've created my new Power BI report and I've loaded my data and there is my data um, in my report. A couple of things to note here. Um, one of them is uh, I need to modify the page size uh, so that it will fit uh, within the report uh, object that I'm, I'm looking at. So um, the width and the height there is uh, 325 pixels and 310 pixels wide. This happens to be the source report that we showed you before. So 325 and 310, um, I change that by clicking on my main report before I create, oops, before I create anything. Get rid of that. Um, on my page though, I can change my page size and I can go to custom and I'm just gonna change that to 325 and then what was the other setting was 310 okay and what that's going to do is it's just going to change the size of the page uh, so that it's you know visually uh, fits in the window that I have within Business Central now I'm just going to drag some basic fields onto my uh, onto my report just just to give you a demonstration to show you how this filter works so I'm going to put my customer number on here I'm going to take the document number and then I'm just going to pick the amount. Now, I'm not going to make this report look real pretty. I'm just going to have it on here so that you uh, get the idea of how this works. You go through Power BI and, and create charts and all that sort of stuff. All that functionality works. The key that we want to look at to make this filter work is I want to take the customer number and I'm going to drill that into, or I'm going to drop that into the filters on all page section within my Power BI report. This is how uh, the Power BI report will then filter based on the field or based on the list that I'm on in Business Central. So it's going to take the key there and then apply that to or connect it to the filter that's in the report. If I don't set up a filter on all pages uh, within my report, then my data is not going to be filtered. All right, so let's save this. And I'm going to call this uh, um, a, a sample report and just save that. And then I'm going to take my uh, Power BI report and I'm going to publish this to just to my workspace uh, within Power BI. So select that and it'll take a second here to publish that. All right, so my report is now published. <clears throat> so I'm going to go into Business Central now and if I come here to my Power BI reports and I'm going to say select reports, I should see once I remove my filter there's my new report, AAA sample report. Um, I'm gonna say enable report and I'm gonna click okay. And magically you'll see that because I use that uh, filter, that page filter value and I put my customer number on there, you'll notice that my customer number now matches and the data uh, in my report is automatically filtered. So this is how it works across um, the entire system. Anywhere I see a list page that I wanna add a Power BI report, drop the key value into the report, and then it's gonna filter automatically. And you can see I can go to the previous report, next report, and I can have uh, multiple reports set up. Not again, listen uh, necessarily on how Power BI works, but you can set up charts and graphs and all sorts of different things uh, to display um, to your end users. If we go back to this main report, this is one that I had created just to show you. You know, you can create all sorts of different uh, visuals uh, and that sort of stuff to make your uh, business central reports, our business central system connect with uh, Power BI.